So today we're going to be getting our Bob Ross on. You know, we really want to pay attention to the colors and, you know, just feel everything out. Make sure that you see the sun and the moon. We don't have that showing right now because we live in Michigan. We're doing Annie Sloan chalk paint. So the thing you will need is this. You will need some water. You will need you get a thirsty. No, it's not for you. If you get thirsty, it's for the paint. You will need a container to put your paint in. You will need a wet towel. Which is what I stepped on. You will need a brush. Uh, this is Annie Sloan brush, but you do not have to use her brush. But because I've done so much chalk painting, I prefer her brush. I really like her brush. Michael, why is that book there? I was showing them that, that was my Bob Ross creation. <laughs> After I was done painting and everything, okay. that was the result. Anyway, back to the video, guys. Uh, so these are the things that you would need, okay? And you will also need a screwdriver to open up the paint, okay? And Michael, could you give me a paper plate, please? I'll take a paper plate and a wet towel. So, if you notice, like I said, I don't have gloves on because you don't really need gloves with her paint. It's just so, so nice. I've done several pieces, so this is not my first time doing this. So, um, I'm going to open this. And, of course, I picked the color burgundy. Now, there is a dark wax and there's a clear wax, and we'll get more into that as we go on. But right now, this is the burgundy. Okay, what I like to do, guys, is I like to just pour some into the container and thin it out. That's just the way I do it. I don't take my brush and dip it into the paint. I don't like to do that. So, but if you want to do that, that would be your choice, but I don't do it. Let me shake this up again. About her paint is, I'm doing this right in my family room with my hardwood floors. I do have some tarps down here, but I'm not at all concerned about the smell because there is no smell with her paint. So I'm gonna pour quite a bit in here because I'm gonna be doing this for a minute here. Let me take that excess off there. So the first round, I do not put it on uh, without adding water. I always add water. And I always like for my first round to be very thin. You know, I like to thin it out. Now, I put a probably about one third cup of water. It's quite a bit of water to some people, but not that much to me. See, I told you I've been painting. I love this paint. So I'm gonna mix that up and I'm gonna thin it out. So the very first coat that I do is gonna be very, very thin. And this is just how I do it. I think I've done about, how many pieces you think I've, come, I've painted, Michael? Probably like a dozen. Yeah, I think I've painted about a dozen. And uh, I've tried to film before and put this on video and things have happened. We've always so, run into some issues. Yeah, we've always ran into some issues. I, now look at better it. already. You think it to yourself, wow, that looks so... Uh, look more pinkish. Yeah, yeah, it does. Another thing I didn't tell you guys is that I have some bricks, and I'll I'll put. Um, it's better to prop your piece up on a piece of concrete and get it off the floor. We do have legs. Can you pass me one, Michael? That goes with this piece, and these are the four legs that we took off, and I will paint those also. Thank you. <clears throat> but. You can find something to prop your piece up. It'll just make it really nice for you. The oh, knobs. Okay. I gotta paint. Put a thin coat on there. All right. Uh, I don't know how these set up, but these are my knobs, guys. Gotta put a thin coat on them. Look at that. They're so pretty. You think I should let Michael? Yeah! Better not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how different it looks on here. Once it dries. Like, look at it. It do look like apples. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> 
She has a lot of nice colors. She's got some blues, but that's not my color in my house. But, but she does have some. Is it, so the chalk paint isn't just for, it's not for, um, Like for it's for anything, right? So yeah, you can paint right. a picture with chalk paint and have it still look right. Like I did that, 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 um, like I did the um, that mirror in the living room. And yeah. It, yeah, like I had to let um, that second coat dry, and uh, it only took probably I would say 30 minutes, and then I just went on and had dinner, me and Michael. And now we're back, okay, to finish this up. Hopefully the lighting is good enough that you can see. This is the clear wax that I spoke about by Annie Sloan. This is like the sealant that in case we put anything with um, water come in contact with this piece in case you set a glass in case you set a glass here or something. So that's what that is. It's just it's a sealant. And this is the other one. A lot of people are not comfortable with the dark wax. But I love the dark wax because the dark wax, you control how dark I can make this piece. See the burgundy in it is really rich and it's really pretty. I like it, but I'm going to make it a little bit richer for me. Okay, so first you always have to use uh, clear wax first to seal it and then the dark wax is not used as a sealant, it's used to uh, change the color for you to make it a little bit richer and darker. Now, I don't know if you can use, I was told you cannot use the dark wax as opposed to using the clear wax that you should always use clear wax no matter what. Even if I'm going to use dark wax, I still have to put clear wax on first. And it's like wax on, wax off. You just put a little bit on. She said. In her video, it's like applying lotion to your hands, so you don't have to put a lot on, but just put a little bit on. So I usually just get some old um, t-shirts and rip them up, and then I'll put some here on my rag there. I don't know if you guys can see that, and I'll start. So you just rub it in. That's a little bit. That's quite a bit that I put there, but that's okay. I finished putting the clear wax on and you can feel, I mean it just, I mean you can't feel but it feels wonderful. Now I'm going to put the dark wax on and I'll give you the final um, look of it with the dark wax. Now this is the dark wax and most people are afraid of the dark wax but I love the dark wax. I'm not afraid to apply it and use it to darken the piece the way I want it. So I'll go in with the rag here. The same concept that I used with the light wax, I'm going to use with the dark wax. And just rubbing it on until you get the right color. Now if you've never used it before, you got to say, well, what's the right color? Well, until you're comfortable and you like the look of the piece. Once you like the look of the piece, then you're fine. So you just keep rubbing it and working it in until you get it to the way you like it. So, now, I just did this door 
I don't know if you can see the difference between this door and that door. But Michael, you can see it, right? Yep. Yeah. See, Michael can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, how well you can see it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But see, this has a little darker tone to it. This is a little lighter. And I kind of like to make my burgundy a little bit deeper. You know, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Okay, bye guys. Just wanted to say thanks for your time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That keeps me encouraged to do more pieces for you. Thanks again. Enjoy doing this with you. Bye.